Hello everybody, how are you? Uh, welcome back, it's been a long time, sorry about that. Um, it's a couple of reasons for that, the weather's still terrible, it has been terrible, and also I've been going through some stuff, um, I won't go into it, maybe one day I'll let everybody know on here what's been going on, but right now, not really at liberty to say, or not really prepared to say, but anyway, that's all sort of behind me now, and today, for your viewing pleasure, I have a thing. So let's have a look at the thing and uh, see what you could think. This is going to be something uh, different for me, something I've never sort of done before. Um, some people have, I certainly have not. Let's see what the thing is. So as a proper unboxing, I mean I don't do very many of them very often. In K models we usually have a box that's been unboxed and then we sort of unbox it. But yeah, 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 you know, you know. It says a Heng Long 116th military truck. It looks really cool, but it is actually toy grade. So, my plan is, but it actually, um, it might be toy grade, but the fundamentals are quite good. The ladder chassis is okay, the gearbox, the diff are apparently okay. I've seen a couple other people doing a conversion to hobby grade. This is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to convert this toy grade truck into a hobby grade truck and give it a lick of paint uh, because I don't like this sort of sorry about that this sort of pseudo fake military look um, I'm going to change it into something slightly different um, not going to change the shape or anything but um, give it a little lick of paint turn it into a sort of more working farm truck type thing or, um, but anyway yeah let's have a look at this this is a 116 4x4 with a uh, solid suspension solid uh, axles leaf sprung uh, you can see there it's ready to run everything's in the box it's got a working opening bonnet with the you put the batteries in underneath um, very simple very simple small design but um, I'm looking forward to seeing what's in here and what it looks like in the flesh because the photos online look really really quite good really pretty good so let's get this open very ooh, very cheap um, they knock around about £40 online, brand new. I got this one for £37.50, so not a lot of money. It will cost me more to convert it to hobby grade than, um, than the actual purchase price of it in the first place, but that's fine. A little project. Everybody likes a little project. Let's have a look at the box, or in the box. Instructions are in Chinese. Good. Um, okay. Open. Open. There we are. <laughs> that looks really cool. You get it in sort of dark green, um, but uh, I wasn't really fussed with the colour because I'm going to paint it anyway. There we are. Let's have a look at the transmitter first. Um, terrible. <laughs> That's a terrible transmitter. Um, that. Ooh. Wow. That's a full range of motion, isn't it? Yep, that is the worst transmitter I've ever seen. Good. I like it. Like, they haven't even removed the sticker properly for the for the on off switch. <laughs> okay, fine. That's good, right? Good. Uh we have a a NICAD battery, seven hundred milliamp hours, six volts. Um it will come with a quick charge. Ah, there you go, the quick charger. Um, I'll maybe start charging this now. If it's safe to put on a wall charger, I assume it's safe to put on a wall charger. I'll just, yeah, if it's fine because USB puts out 5 volts, isn't it? Yes, 5 volts. Uh, so, oh, this is 6 volts. Oh, input 5, output 6. Alright, okay, whatever. So, I'm going to just, while I'm doing this, put this on a wee charge because I actually want to test it out for you guys in front of the camera. There we are. There's no indicator at all in the charger. I say it's a charger, it's a cable, but there's no indicator. So, goodness knows when that will be charged. Right? Not really an issue. I'm not going to be using that. This is just to test it out once, and then it's getting hobby grade electronics. Um, right, so that's it for the key of the box. What do you think? I love the detail. The detail's really good.
The build quality not so much. So what's it got? It has working front lights. It has a fake winch. Let me get in the front of the camera there. Fake winch. Um, obviously pseudo military markings, uh, you know, whatever. Um, someone did mention a lot of sloth in the steering and they're absolutely correct. Wow. Uh, maybe that can be addressed, I'm not sure. Least strong suspension, as I said, least strong. They're actually nice and soft, the leaf, so it's not too bad. What it has is the real leaf springs. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Real leaf springs, and underneath these are just fake plastic to make it look like they're stacked leaf springs, but they're not. There's just the one, which is why it's nice and soft. Um, little piddly traffic, uh, plastic drive shafts there. Um, yeah, <laughs> lots of movement and everything. <laughs> But whatever, that's they are. No um, uh, dampers. There's just the springs. There's nothing. There's no oil shock absorbers right here. No dampers. So it'll probably be quite bouncy. i to tuck this little cable out of the way so I can close the bonnet properly. But it's, it's having none of it. Close. Here we go. Ha ha. Yes. Well, it was very cheap. Um, it feels very cheap. It. Uh, there we are. So, I don't even know what to say really. It's it's just a toy grade truck that looks quite good. And some other people have converted this into a model grade and I'm going to have a go at it myself. I'm not going to go mental at it because I've never done anything like this before. It's got a rudimentary interior. That's fine. I'm happy with the rudimentary interior. I will put a Lexan on to give it a window. Ooh, full air mirrors. I will put Lexan. Those are just going to... Yeah, they'll need to be glued open or something because that's just that's just gonna vibrate all over the place. Um, I will put legs on for windows. Um, I might paint the chassis black. It is currently metal, you know, it's unpainted. I might. We'll see. Although I don't mind. I I, I quite like the look of the chassis. Actually, I, I, I thought I wouldn't like it and wanted to hide it, and make it black, but it looks okay. Um, yeah, I've got to have a think and see what I'm gonna do with it. But in the meantime. Oh wow, I mean, schlop, schloppy schlop. Yeah, um, let's um, test it, I suppose. Uh, one thing I will say uh, for, for, for modifying it, it is modular, which is good. This is all on bolts, everything separates and everything. So it is very easy to work on and paint once you've all taken it apart. So, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, that. That's budget. I mean, that is, that's lovely. That is, FTX look like Proline or Team Lossy Racing compared to, compared to this thing. But anyway, right. Oh, shit. I've, uh, oh, I think I've lost a leaf, leaf spring already. No, I haven't. It must be a spare. It is, it's a spare. Look how soft that is. It's just it's so pliable. Right, so I've got a spare leaf spring, randomly. But that's fine, good. Let's see how the chart. Let's just, you know what? I'm gonna just gonna put some double A's in this, and we'll fire up. Why not? Okay, transmitter takes two double A's. Is on. The battery's in there and plugged in. You need to just switch it on underneath. Um, so oh, the lights are on. We have movement, I think. Um. Yeah, it's those, you see how it's got the, the non-linear travel on the steering. It's a proper servo, of course. Does it move forward? Somebody I, I did see online bought it and the motor cables were broken so it wouldn't move. So let's try this. Oh, it moves. It moves. Let's go and try it outside. Yeah, yeah. I'm so pleased. All right. Time to witness the majesty of the Heng Long truck. Here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. I mean, that's full speed, but that's that's okay. Full speed. That's that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, oh, it pumped out. Uh, there we go. That's good. Yeah, I think the uh, NICAD is flat, or as near as damn it flat. Um, it doesn't like steering and going at the same time. I can tell. Again, that's probably because the bat is flat. Let's try reverse out. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So. Re 
No reverse, that's fine, no problem, that's cool. Forward's better anyway. I wonder, yeah, it seems, because I can hear it trying. Revert, re, would you go backwards? Backwards. To the rear. No? Alright, forwards. Forwards is good. Forward, forwards is better than backwards. I like I like forward more than backwards, so that's good, that's fine. But you can hear it trying, though, that's what's weird. It just won't do it. Yeah. No, 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 that's, uh, that's just abandoned backwards for the moment. But that's okay because you'll be getting proper electronics. <laughs> You're trying, jeez. Forward! Oh, I'm gonna have to give it a helping hand here. So, uh, a bit of a bouncy affair. No damping on the little truck, of course. But uh, that can be sorted, I'm sure. Boy, boy, boy. Um. It's horrendously sloppy. I mean, even you can see it driving around. It's just, whoop. yeah. I think it's getting too flat to go forward and steer at the same time now. Look at that slop. It's magical. But there you are. It looks great, though, doesn't it? It looks really good. If you have any suggestions for the paint job, I have one in mind. But you know, I'm always good for su suggestions. Put them in the comments. See, tell me what you think. It's gonna be a very simple project, it's not gonna be like an RC Adventures type thing, I'm not up to that level, <laughs> as you know. But uh, I'm gonna have fun with it anyway. And thanks for watching, we'll probably catch a little truck again soon. Cheers!